Hey guys, today I wanna do something different. I wanna show you how I lettering stuff. So I'm using this board like paper. It's not a carton, but it's a very thick paper. So I'm using the pens that Miss Grace gave me. I'm hoping that this will be very visible. So, I'm going to start. So, first I'm going to lettering the, the word I want to make. So, I'm going to write the word crochet. Um, I don't use a ruler or a, for lining it. I just want to make it freehand. When I was in high school, I really wanted to learn lettering because my classmates, my boy classmates, they really are very good with it. So I want to learn it without using some lines. So I started making them. And I saw most of the lettering from my brother. So I really wanted to learn it. So just I just have a few lettering. That is my basic lettering that I use. Like for this one. I'm starting to put the shadows. So I'm using this black one for the base of it. And then maybe I'm going to show you how I put the colors. So this is what I use mostly, this lettering type. This is what I use mostly for when someone wanted me to lettering them. A happy birthday sign, happy anniversary sign, or sometimes I use this for the title of the project. Because since I my niece and nephews, they asked me to letter in the title of their project in a folder. So I also learned this box type of crochet plus a balloon type which I'm going to sh share with you next. I just wanted to do something different. And this has been in my mind lately that I wanted to show you I, how I lettering. And from before also, I used to buy lettering books. And I found some calligraphy ones. But that is using a different type of pen. And from there that I learned how to... I learned how to do the romance type. And that's it. That's the base of it with the, with the shadow. And sometimes I put some design on it like this one. And then sometimes I do it like this. I put some marks in it. Just for design. And then I start to color it. After this. Okay, 
okay, I'm going to show you the balloon part that I learned. So it is just like this. So for my recent projects of coloring, I use the gel pens Miss Grace Gay. But they also have some some that are different. Not gel but neon colors and pastel colors. So that's really cool to know. Cool to use also. How long is this? 5 minutes. So this is the balloon one that I am saying to you guys. When I was in high school, um, some students there, they really are very good with lettering. They are the ones who lettering the chalkboard or the blackboard they are pretty expert in doing that they are using chalks for the lettering and I quite envy them because I really wanted to lettering some things on the bulletin board but I wasn't able to because they were the ones who are asked to do it But my classmates, <laughs> they really like how I lettering from them. So they asked me to lettering their projects. And this is a very useful skill from, for when you are in school. Because it is very needed there. So for this one, I put this type of design because it is a balloon design. And one other useful lettering that I know is kind of a freehand also. So I'm going to show you now this other type of lettering. This is my username in Ravelry and Instagram. I also used this type of lettering for the sign for my for when I was vending before. I have a sign set up. So it is also pretty useful for that. When you are vending, you need some signs to show the price or what you're selling. And my niece, Nicole, she really likes lettering too. And she is lettering um, some quotes from the Bible or some verses. That's what she likes to do now. She lettering it on a piece of paper and she put it at the back of her cell phone. And I remembered, I asked her to lettering me one, one verse but she still hasn't gotten into it. So I guess I have to cut this shirt now. I'm going to check this video if it's okay to upload. That's it for me. That's the lettering. Bye for now.